Today it's time to play ball with Dreadball. I'm going to be taking a look at the Magnetour Marvels and the new supplement for Dreadball by Mantic Games. Okay, so a bit of a double dip here for Dreadball, the, for the futuristic sports game from Mantic. I do have the Magnetour Marvels, we'll get to them in a moment, but I also have the Galactic Tour Magnetar Circuit book. So, what is this then? This is similar to Mantic's other books that they release for um, Dead Zone, like Escalation, or uh, King's War with the Clash of Kings books, where they use these books to rebalance uh, within the meta, uh, but also at the same time add in some interesting little other tidbits for people. This book is the first time they've done it for Dreadbull, so... It has the team stats all rebalanced. Um, they've also added four new arenas and the new support specialists on top of that. So the book itself is full colour, 50 odd pages long. As you can see at the back, we have all of the teams. So with their amended either costs or stat lines or abilities in some cases. Then we also have the different um, pitches. So, for example, Nimbus Green inaugural game. So these are historic games like uh, the night in Istanbul when Liverpool rolled face and uh, won their fifth European Championship. It explains what happened at the time then tells you the actual match result and then we finish with the teams so you can replay the actual historic match and these are these are essentially leveled up players these are famous players from the past um, so if you don't have time to play a full season and go through all of the um, leveling up you can take these teams and see, you know, this is essentially a team that's been playing for a while and therefore they have their own unique abilities and, and stat boosts that you would normally see. So it's a nice way to dip into the game. And there we can see a few others. Apart from the teams and the new venues, there are also our new support characters. So we have the Hydrator, the Fixer, uh, and we have also the mechanic, and these give you bonuses to checks, so armor check, dash, and distract checks. You don't have to use these figures, but they're really nice. So I did uh, pick them up. So they just give you a new bit of coaching staff to add to your teams. Um, and it's a good way of either supplementing something your team is lacking, or if you're already good at something, then it's a good way to generate fan checks and like by making you better at it. So that is the Galactic Tour Magnetar Circuit book. Like I say, I also have the three new uh, support staff. Plus we also have Toth, who is a special character referee, but he's also an MVP in his own right as a guard. So these are four resin miniatures. So they come bagged. You also get a set of I suppose the old style bases because the new ones have the holes in them for the ball. Um, if you are planning on using Toth not as a referee but as a MVP guard, you may want to uh, put him onto one of the newer bases if you have it, or just drill a hole in this. It doesn't make a difference. Okay, so first up, we have our fixer who comes with this sprue. Well, these three arms, or three pieces, head and two arms, on the sprue. Very, very clean cast on the body. Small mould gate to remove there. I believe she's the sister of one of the coaches, possibly from Dreadball Extreme, actually. Comes with a welding torch. Again, there's a bit of a sprue gate to clean up there, but otherwise... Flash is minimal and mold line is practically non-existent. Fair bit of flash on the inside of that claw, but it 
just takes that to remove it, so not an issue. So she's quite nice. While we have these hands, let's take a quick look at Toth. So there's that very thin base that fits, inserts into the uh, dribble base. Fair bit of gates to remove. Very thin pieces. I would suggest heating this up in warm water and then slicing those off while it's rubbery. That way you won't risk breaking any of the fins, any of the detail. Of which there is much. Beautiful filigree work on it. Exquisitely done. There we have the rest of it. Again, some sprue gates, so no air bubbles. Bit of flashing and a bit of sprue to clean off, but mold lines are practically non-existent. Yeah. I would be amazed if it wasn't the umpteenth Mantic resin that I, I got my hands on, so I'm quite used to them. Uh, our hydrator flurple. The little cephalopoid fella rocking his sweet, sweet drink. Sponsored, you know, dreadball. Got his cup. Cup even has a dreadball on the back of it. So yeah, it's the hydrator. And then we have our coach who is not two Z's in a trench coat. Definitely not. Uh, I, that is definitely a coach who is human sized, if not bigger. But Let's get them all cleaned up and assembled, and we'll take a, a quick look at the rundown then. Okay, so I'm back with the new coaching staff. They all went together very easily. Um, no major issues. Nice clean casts in the main. Uh, as you can see here, bracer for your armor checks. Flurple. Snorkel the Avengers. Favorite fan. He has lost his uh, straw right at the top of his cap, so I may have to just drill a little pin in there. Or might not bother. It depends how I'm feeling. But Flurple, the uh, hydrator, um, helps you with, um, I think, dodge checks. And then finally, head coach is good for distracting. And they all have their own little fluff behind them. When you're using them game-wise they can give you either one, two or three successes. It's your choice. However, they go into the sin bin for a relevant number of turns. So if you want if you need three successes um, to make a, a test passable, then you're going to lose them for three turns. So you can't use them every turn. You have to be very tactical in when you use them. You don't even have to use these models. You could get your, you know, any models for your head coach or your supporting coach, um, but they're nice to have. Apart from them, I did break that off the sprue, so a little bit of filling to do there. Um, apart from them, we do have Thoth, uh, who still needs a bit of cleanup. I need to clean the stuff off his head and nose. However, that will require heating up um in very much a do as i say not as i do i started to clean it without heating it up to make it pliable and almost broke some parts i shouldn't have so i just need to clear the back and top of his crest and touch of his nose um slight slippage on the body around the neck so there was a bit of a noticeable seam here uh, and then where the head sits in, uh, which wasn't a major issue to clean up, just a little more than normal. Uh, arms and legs went on without too much issue, and there's a slight air bubble on the very back of his cowling outfit. Just, might be able to see it there, just above, or just where the base of the wing is. Um, that little air bubble is two seconds work with some putty. But there you go, there is Toth. So he can be used as a referee um, when you're playing. 
However, you can also use him as a MVP, in which case he's a guard. So I think I'll bring the book in for this. So if you're running him as a guest referee, uh, he moves double the number of hexes because he's very quick. So that changes up how the ref plays and will cut down on a lot of uh, fiddle faddle and flim flam. However, it's when you're having a look at Toth's stats as a guard. So for 150 mega credits, um, he's got a move of seven as a guard. Strength four up, agi four up, speed four up, skill four up, fours across the board. That's really good. Armor of three, because he's a guard. However, uh, it's his special abilities. His threat hexes always modify a test up to uh, the maximum of the modifiers listed. So if he slams an opponent, then that target player will receive a minus one modifier for being in his threat hex. And he's alert, so he's able to read the game better than most, uh, and is rarely surprised when an opposing player moves into an adjacent hex, Toth may immediately turn to face them. This happens before the rest of the player's action is resolved, so no chasing in behind and slamming Toth in the back. He will avoid that deftly, which makes him a very, very good guard. Indeed, normally the only way to put them down is to get around behind them, or alternatively, bring not two Zs in a trench coat and get them to uh, distract the ref while you lamp the head out of them. Either way works. But overall, the uh, Magnetor Marvels, really nice little set for Dreadball players. Say, not needed to use for the new rules, but really nice to have, so... Uh, I think most Dreadball players will be picking these up. There we are. Terrific little book. Uh, definitely one for any Dreadball player, especially if you're, you're a seasoned veteran. It's very handy to have those upgrades. If you're just starting off, it's a nice supplement to uh, boost your forces. Might be one that you don't initially pick up uh, until you've got a few games under your belt, but it is definitely, definitely worth having a look at. As to the resin figures, they are, as always, really, really nicely done by Mantic uh, and really cute. Uh, Flurpal and Snorkel are two of my favourite characters in Dreadball, uh, and it's nice to see the uh, synergies with the uh, support staff. Like I say, you don't need to use these. Uh, you can use any figures at all, or even just a token for the support staff, but uh, if you like to add that little bit extra to your games of Dreadball, then they're definitely worth checking out. Let me know what you think below. I'm going to move on. Bye-bye. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.